Spain's highest court in Madrid has delivered its verdict. Five men previously convicted of the sexual assault of an 18-year-old woman are now guilty of the more serious charge of rape. The men called themselves the Wolf Pack. All the acts took place in an atmosphere of terror, of absolute subjection. The only thing the victim declared to the court was, I closed my eyes and waited for everything to end as soon as possible. Ahead of the decision, some of the men arrived at a courthouse in Seville, where they must check in three times a week. The Supreme Court ruling overturns two previous court rulings in a case that's brought thousands of people onto the streets in protest. The attack happened here in Pamplona, when the city was holding the San Fermin bull running festival. The woman was dragged into a residential hallway in the early hours of the morning. The court heard how the men shared jokes and videos of the rape in a WhatsApp group. Footage was used as evidence in the trial. The defendant's lawyers said the sex was consensual. A rape charge in Spain requires evidence of violence or intimidation. The woman's lawyer says she didn't fight back because she was afraid and in shock. Both the five men and the victim appealed the earlier verdict to the Supreme Court. During the appeal process, the men were freed from jail because under Spanish law, no one could be held for more than two years without a definitive sentence. Their release enraged protesters. Four of the men have had their sentences increased from nine to 15 years. One of them was given an extra two years for stealing the victim's phone. I think the Wolfpack case has led us to consider a change in the law. I hope Parliament takes this legal reform seriously. Society demands it. It's one of the most controversial cases in modern Spain. A case that campaigners hope will change the way the country judges rape in future. Eve Barker, Al Jazeera.